Hey there, Battletech fans, and welcome back to another episode of Urban Warfare, the new DLC from Harebrained Schemes. And uh, we are. I think it is time for us to go off to another planet. So, all we have left here is an ambush convoy at a half skull, and uh, we've seen how challenging half skull missions are. So, let's take a look at the star map. Star map is uh, quite a bit smaller than uh, the one I'm used to. <laughs> but, they have these nice little filters in here. Um, similar to hitting F2 for Rogue Tank, you can actually filter by difficulty. Uh, I want to look for a one skull planet that's kind of close. Um, you can also filter by biome. So if you want to do desert, glacier, jungle, lunar, uh, Terran, tundra, or urban, which we will get to urban. Uh, there are no urban one skull planets though. The only, the, the lowest skull one I was able to find is Clough Stand here, uh, which is a two skull planet. So we will get there uh, eventually. It's not bad, though, 26 days to get there. But uh, we're not going to go there just yet. Uh, we're going to go back to... Go away. There we go. I want to go here. Uh, it's a black market planet. It's a rocky planet, so it'll have a good mix of biomes on it. And uh, it's 12 days and 30,000 Z-bills, but it won't cost me 30,000 because if I like this travel contract, I'm going to take it. It is a defend base, and I like those, so let us negotiate for the salvages. Lots of the salvages, and go. So we've got 15 days until our financial report, so we will actually get there and be able to run a mission or three before our financial report hits and uh, pad the coffers a little bit. Oh, oh, hey, flashpoints. Uh, we will get into those as well. So, uh, while we're traveling, before we get too far into it, I want to first train some mech warriors. Still have no training in Gelada. Not yet. More gunnery. More gunnery. Oh, speaking of more gunnery, there you go, River. You can actually start to shoot worth a shit. Snow person. Snow person and in stranger. Hmm. What are we gonna do with, with the snow person? Uh, let's actually bump up piloting and tactics just a bit. And then stranger. Now, I don't know what. We want more piloting. Do we want guts? That's plus one health. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I think I'm going to go the piloting, piloting tree uh, for the uh, sure footing as well. I, I'm liking sure footing. It's working for me. Enchilada. Speaking of enchilada. Been considering uh, how I want to rework some of these mechs. And just kind of looking through what I've got. Uh, the Vindicator, I like the long range punch. Uh, the Panther, I like the long range punch. We've already slapped a bunch of LRMs, so we need something close. And right now, Firestarter is our fastest mech. And while I love the amount of fire on it, let's see what we can do with it. I was kind of thinking of a up close and personal in your face brawler type. Hmm. What can we do? Ooh. Look at all those support hard points. I mean, I could always throw more flamers on it, but and we only have one additional. So here's my thinking I'm going to pull the flamers off, as they actually don't do a whole lot of damage. And we have yet to actually overheat someone. And let's look at these small lasers. Small lasers. And some armor. 
lots of small lasers and some armor. All right, now we have a medium and six small lasers. This is going to be glorious. Glorious, I tell you. We're looking at 170 damage now. What were we before? We were at 100 damage. So it's an additional 70 damage, which is, I mean, that's nothing to sneeze at. There's nothing to sneeze at. That will work for us, I think. And since it sprints quite quickly, uh, I think we can get rid of the jump jets, which will give us a 25.5. So it'll give us another three tons to play with because we are definitely going to need to throw some heat sinks in here. So two, three, four. Five, six small lasers. Ah, 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 ah. All right. Get the uh, armor down here a little bit. Skimp some back armor. Nope, nope, don't need to skimp some back armor. So that gives us three tons. Checks his store. I can't check the store. Dumbass, you're traveling. I have two heat sinks. I need one more. How's our heat look? Like ass. One more would help a little bit. Maybe 39 or 60. We couldn't alpha every time. We would have to do some cooling. But uh, thicker armor and more damage equals better mech. That's my personal opinion. Let's see. Can I buy something from the store? It let me look at the store, but I don't think I can buy because, yeah, see, I can't buy because I'm traveling. So I will get this build started, and when we get to the next planet, we will look to see if they have any heat sinks. So 14 days. Okay. So we've got a few days even after uh, we get to the next planet, and we will hit a financial report as well before the fire starter is ready to go, but I'm... Okay with that. We can live with that. All right. Oh, one more thing before I click that go button. Yes, the engineering. I think it is time to purchase the training module so that uh, our guys that are down can get some training um, and continue to build some XP, get some skills. Plus, we can continue to build and uh, gain XP as we travel. All right, go. And Calamity will be back. So, this will work out. I'm hoping we have some good missions. I am, a, I am personally, I like battles. Um, I like recoveries. I like uh, assassinations. Those are probably my three favorite types because it's just you, you drop on the field and you destroy what's in front of you. That, that, that is my style. That is my style. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful weekend here. Uh, the first, like, full weekend. All right. Disciplinary measures. Calamity enters your quarters and snaps to attention, glancing between you and Darius. Darius stacks, stares the mech warrior down. We've had a complaint about you, soldier, causing trouble in the mech bay. That mech tech's got a grudge against me, sir. My mech's been opened up way longer than anybody else's, and for no good reason. I was just trying to get things moving. Darius glances at you. Are you buying this, Commander? No. No, I am not. So, um, stay the fuck out of the mech bay. That is not where you belong. The mech warrior nods, salutes, and leaves without a word. Later that week, Darius reports, Whatever you told Calamity seems to have worked. The mech bay is quiet and productive again. Well, as quiet as the mech bay can be, anyway. And Calamity has gained the following tag of dependable. So, I have no idea what dependable does in vanilla. <laughs> maybe it's good, maybe it's not. We'll see.
But yes, back to what I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted. Uh, beautiful weekend. And uh, this weekend is going to bring a trip to the gun range. I can't wait. I have not shot my 9mm pistol in quite a while. Alright, we're here. We do not want to proceed yet. We need to go to the store and buy a heatsink. Uh, for a 9mm pistol, I have a Canik TP9 SF Elite. Um, I enjoy it. Unfortunately, I bought it prior to the SFX coming out, which the I like the SFX even more. So, ha, somebody's getting another gun. <laughs> Imagine that. Probably not. Not for a while. I'm still having fun with the ones I have. Once I get bored with those, then I go out and buy another one. All right, where do we want to go? We wanted to go to the store. Oh, we are in the store. See, guns are distracting. Oh, look. Part. Wait. No, that is not parts. That is a full fire starter and a full spider that I can sell. <laughs> I, I'm so used to clicking on sell automatically that that's what I did. I don't want to sell. I want to buy. I want to spend $33,000 and get myself a heat sink. So that I can then complete my fire starter. Put another heat sink in it. And then drop on this base defense mission. I didn't even look to see what the difficulty was. Um, it was if this was a rogue tech, I would be all over how you know what is the difficulty level on this. Though so, though the difficulty level is not necessarily a good indicator with rogue tech. I have gone into half skull missions that have completely whooped my ass, and I've gone through two skull missions, which are a cakewalk with a light lance. So, it is what it is. I love it all the same. All right, let's slap this other heat sink in there. We'll go center. Center torso. So we are sinking 39 heat out of 60. The great thing is, is we're not really going to build up a whole lot of heat as we approach because we'll just be firing the medium lasers. But once we get into close range, this thing is going to fucking wreck face. And I am, I am excited. I am excited to see how this works. Uh, this may completely and totally backfire and I may get my ass whooped, but we'll see. We will see. Back shots with this thing? Oh, 170 damage into the back. Ah, yes. I'm excited. All right. All right, fighter starter's done. Launch contract. Okay, so it's uh, one and a half skull. Ah, cool. It's on the Tundra too, so extra cooling. Extra cooling is good. Um, all right, River, you are a four, two, three, two. You are a four, two, two, three. So River and Calamity are now pretty much on the same level. Uh, Calamity's got better tactics. River has better guts. So we are going to stick with River for now. You did good, kid. You did good. <laughs> I have to nickname him Boot Camp. You did good, Boot Camp. And you will hear a lot of military terms and military slander come out of my mouth as uh, I spent quite a bit of time in the military, 23 years to be exact. And, uh, I enjoyed my time. Got to see all kinds of places around the world. Uh, I was primarily a West Coast sailor, so uh, most of my trips were into the Pacific and the Middle East. Uh, we had some to South America. Those are fun, by the way. All right. So Darius, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Where are the baddies? The baddies are over here. Let's go get them. Affirmative. 
All right, get there. Oh, fire started. We do not want you on the hill because we took out your jump jets. Panther, on the other hand, no, it doesn't matter whether you sprint or jump, you get the same distance. So I need to head these guys off before they get out. No, they're not going to get to them. <laughs> Say before they get to the APCs, they're not going to get to the APCs. And then, as we did last time, pull back into the base and uh, just wait for them to come. So we're a skull and a half. We might see some medium mix. We're definitely seeing mechs, all mechs, four of them. All right, snow person in your panther. Can you get up? Yes, you can. Get up top and get me a line of sight. What a, ooh, we have a Jenner. So we are officially in the medium mech territory and these are uh, full on. No, oh, no, they're makeshift. They have 75% armor. But that is okay. Alright, River. Let's get you in there. Oh, so close. So close. What do we got? We got a Commando. We have the Jenner and two more unknown mechs. Should have shot at the Jenner again uh, to get some of his more of his evasion off, but I did not. I am a failure. It wouldn't matter because he moved again anyway. And he's just going guarded. Is that a second Jenner? That is a second owl. That's a head hit. No. No. And a spider. So two Jenners. Nice. Very nice. We are not in medium tech mech territory. I am retarded. Um, <laughs> I was thinking for some silly reason that the Jenner was the cicada. All right, what do we got? Uh, no, 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 you might be my best best bet. Nope. Nope. Oh, really? You are my best bet. Okay then. Have some angry, angry lightning gun. Right here. Mm -hmm. All right, stranger. Stranger danger. Oh, that's right. I pulled his uh, LRMs or his jump jets off as well. Nope, back up. Back it up, buddy. Back it up. What about one? Uh, oh, uh, that looks like that's going to be it. So after the Jenner again, we have good hit chances. And he's got some. Oh, 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 that was glorious. Glorious. Die in glorious combat. All right, soften up that locust. Oh, yes. Turrets are stripping the evasion off of these guys and uh, stripping the armor off of these guys as well. Oh, that is a large laser commando. I have something for you, you little shit. Oh, is that behind? It's not behind him. I want to get behind him. I want to get into his rear arc. And do it right there. I am putting myself at major risk doing that. So we're going to stick with the side. And hope we can take that large laser off. All right, are you ready for the hotness? Uh, this is going to be fun. That'll work. Chew the side off. I would have rather shot him in the back and killed him, but, you know, that was still fun. It's a laser show. It's a party. I know. All of you just went, oh, God, don't ever do that again. Waiting for orders. I will probably not oblige you. Hmm. Who are we shooting? And we want to get rid of the commando. We're shooting from the opposite side. 
70% on the spider. Oh, we did get the large laser off the commando. That's good. So, locust is cord. Alright, so, spider it is. I like to soften them up and then in the late rounds let the turrets get at them. They usually finish them off. I'm gonna actually start pulling these guys back into the base here soon because as these guys start to die then uh, we'll see reinforcements. And that's good, that's good, yeah that works. Commando, spider, commando, or locust, but crap, well, not crap hit chances, but we're going with commando. Yes, get rid of all that evasion, all of it. All right, who wants some? <laughs> Oh goodness, that was another great game. Just have, for some reason tonight, I have like random phrases running through my head. Wow, he's still alive. That's impressive. <laughs> oh, locusts fall down. Yeah, so the one that's going through my head right now is go for the eyes, boo, go for the eyes. Brat, 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 done. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. All right, that is my, uh, that is my cue. Don't scare me. I'm not afraid. I probably should be, but I'm not. Uh, spider? Spider. Ah, damn. I was like, Spider, I have something for you. I'd love to be able to shoot him from that side. But no, it's either front or side, so we're going to go with side. Hello, little spider. This is actually not as hot as I thought it was going to be. I'm going to get uh, a, a couple of good alpha strikes out. Ladies, a party. I would say that that is effective, um, at least on the light mechs, and probably on the medium mechs if I can get a good backstab in. So, all right, you guys start pulling back. If I remember right, one of the baddie lances starts up here, and uh, fuck, I don't remember where the other one is. Actually, yes, I do. They think they come from over here. Standing by. All right, baddies. We're going to jump. We're going to give ourselves a line of sight. And we are going to shoot something. Yeah, you'll work. Goodbye, Commando. It was nice knowing you. Not really, but... I was trying to be nice. You're about to die. Yeah, I thought so. That is a large laser. That is another large laser. I am not going to rescue all my buildings, but good thing I didn't take money. So there's a javelin up. Javelin? 10F. Let's have medium lasers. Where in the hell are the large lasers coming from? There's more stuff up there. We've got to find out what the hell it is. No, not sprint. Jump. Jump he in this general direction. Can I get a straight line of sight? I cannot. No line of sight on Javelin. Hmm. I'm gonna start working my way this way though. I can at least throw some LRMs at him. Let him know we know he's here. And the spider gets up. Hey, that was not friendly. I am going to have to respond violently. 
Speaking of responding violently... Hello! I have some LRMs. I think we hit him like twice. Oh. I was like, who's shooting me? No, he's not shooting me. He's shooting the spider. Ah, uh, yes. Have some turret fire. Tack, 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 tack. Daka, 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 daka. I like the daka. So the, uh, the added armor is holding up fairly well as well. All right, River. Finish him. I just, I want to see what it does to the back. I really want to see what it does to the back. And we're not overheating yet. It's, uh, it's the cold planet. That's what it is. Yes, yes. That's the effect I was looking for. <laughs> Large fiery explosions. Oh no. Not a panther. Commander? All right, snow person. Ooh, you can see the panther. Get you as close as we can. Start pushing you up that hill. Panther or javelin? Javelin, 60%. Panther, 50%. Javelin it is. Have a PPC or not. Watch it whiz by your head. I do like the lighting effects that we put in here. You can actually see the reflection of the... Eh, that's right, run and hide. You can see the reflection of the PPC as it goes by. It's pretty awesome. That is a commando. There's also a commando. So there are three large laser commandos on here. That is uh, quite a bit of opportunity for some large lasers. Oh, yes. Vindicator sees Commando, raises Commando, one PPC, one medium laser, and one LRM-5. I said Commando, didn't I? Javelin. <laughs> Alright, turrets, you need to do your job. Oh, look. Yes, have some. So it looks like we're only getting one lance. Oh, there you go. Good turret. Blap, 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 blap. I love that. Blap, blap, blap. Daka, daka, daka. No, don't blow up my turrets. I need those to kill you. All right, River, get your ass into the fight. I'm just gonna go barreling in there. River's damn it. Well, Calamity's back now, so River being hurt is not such a big deal. Rolling. Yes, rolling and shooting. Hmm. We are going to break out the precision strike since we have full center torso. Yeah, I think so. Center torso. But we did not actually hit center torso. Oh no. He lost evasive. Which means you are going to get a face full of missiles, sir. No, that's not who I want. That is who I want. And I want a direct line of sight to the Javelin and LRM-30. I'm actually even going to turn the medium lasers off and sit back, precision strike, and enjoy the show. Nope, not going to precision strike. I'm just going to shoot him straight out. I just wanted to see them all hit, but I don't need to. He's damaged enough that this is going to hurt. Oh, yeah. Completely shaved his armor, and he's knocked down. Though, these commandos are kind of worrisome because they're skirting around the back of this hill. Hmm. 
right, I get here. Yes, cover and evasion. Who do we see? Yes, Panther's still up the hill. We got a pretty decent hit chance on him. We know we got a good hit chance on him, but he's gonna die soon. So let's start on the Panther. Matter of fact, we will start good on the Panther and go for that arm. Actually, let's try that again. Do I have a better chance to hit the torso or the arm? I have a better chance to hit the side torso. We'll try that. That was the wrong side torso, jackass. Blap, 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 blap. Yep. Light that commando up. I need an LRM turret. That's what I need. <laughs> We are once again inspired. You missed. Yes, you took away some of my evasion, but that is a bad place for you to be. Now the fire starter is back into the fight. This is about to get real. Shooting the buildings. All right, snow person. Let's see, fifty. Oh, eighty. No, no, sixty. Not eighty. I was, I was excited for a second. I was like, oh, eighty percent. Uh, we'll do fifty. You already have some arm damage, so let's see if we can not take it off. <laughs> Wanted to take it off. Panther, what are you shooting at? Okay, you shoot at the vindicator. I'm okay with that. I don't want them shooting at my buildings. So, I, like I said, it really doesn't matter because, yeah. Ooh, perfect. A little commando. Eat shit. Bam. So that is a medium laser and an SRM down. So all he's got left is that large laser. Imagine that. Oh, a stranger with all the lerms. All the lerms. There we are. I think it is time to let the panther know we're here. And strip off a bunch of armor. That works. That works. <laughs> you, sir, are an asshole. Why, yes. Yes, I am. I was going to say, do you even have any weapons left? Yes, he does. He's still got two medium lasers. I was hoping the turrets would finish him off. Oh no, but they just put an ass whooping on that commando. Big time. He has no more weapons. He's a stick. So, one stick. Uh, one very close to being a stick. Standing by. Panther? Meet Panther. Almost got that PPC off. Wanted to. Oh, I thought that was a head hit for a second. I was like, no! I can't afford to have two pilots down at the same time. Ah, River. Who do you want to fuck up? Javelin? Oh, oh yes. We are going to wreck that panther's day. There we are. Hello, Mr. Panther. Meet my friend, Daddy McFace. All right. No more PPC for you. Shoot 
shooting weapon. Oh, okay, so we have to kill these guys. I keep forgetting about the holdout for reinforcements for three rounds. So I need to quit fucking around with these guys and just kill them. All right. Um, that's the only way we're going to ensure that we get the salvage that we deserve. We so richly deserve. So how bad off are you? You're on the ground. Oh, back up, back up. No, I want a straight shot. I need to be back just enough. Ah, you suck. What about a jump? That puts the panther in range, so we will... Vivid split our fire. So, chucklehead here. Oh, hot. Hot after the jumping. And now uh, we'll turn off the PPC. All right, LRMs. Medium laser. Yes, we turn off the medium laser. We send the LRMs to A. Or sorry, we send the LRMs to B. We send the PPC to A. That should do it. All right, one down. One damaged. <laughs> I'm liking the sensor locks. I'm listening. Okay, stranger. I'm glad you're listening. Listen. Listen. You need to kill people. You need to kill people with extreme prejudice. Lots of little tiny missiles. That there's a kill. Yes, yes it is. So we have the javelin and the commando left. Ooh, hey, there was the stray shot mechanic. Apparently he was shooting at the panther, missed the panther, and hit the centurion. Okay, river. Let's make friends. Hello, Mr. Commando. A nice, fresh, no back damage, uh, no structural damage. So this will be a good test of how well this build does at backstabbing. Uh, extremely effective. Uh, I, I approve. This mech build is gentle payload approved. I know, that doesn't mean a whole lot, but it's all right. I like it. Goodbye, Javelin. Damn it. Yes, goodbye, Javelin. All right. Now that the fun and games are over, let's see what we got. We got the stuff. I like stuff. Then we can actually take a look at what missions are on this planet, because we didn't get a chance to look at that. So, 101,000 sea bills. Eh... A moderate amount of mech damage, but nothing went internal. Uh, we did get the head hit. River's out for 22 days, but we can rotate Calamity right back in. And oh my goodness, mechs for days. So let's go ahead and get us a Javelin. Uh, let's get us a Locust 1S. Um, and let's pull two Commando 1B parts and hope we get the third. Hoping we get the third. Large lasers, medium lasers, SRM-2s, huh. These are pretty much just money. You know what? I'm not going to take... Oh, excuse me. I'm not going to take that. I'm going to take a large laser, because I want to put a large laser on something. And I need more heat sinks. I fucking hate hiccups. Wow, we did not get any of the commando parts. We should have just taken two. I, uh, I didn't realize that I already had one. I saw the two in the two. If I would have taken the two, these two, I could have still taken the large laser. 
Oh well, it is what it is. What else did we get? We got two medium lasers, an SRM-2, two heat sinks, and a whole bunch of jump jets and some SRM ammo. All in total, 7.4 million sea bills. Worth of salvage. Not a bad haul. Not a bad haul at all. Each shot of an auto cannon after the first suffers a recoil penalty that lowers its chance to hit. Resting the weapon for a turn resets that. Alright, so there's our Locust 1S. There's our Javelin 10F. This is the Laser Javelin. And I clicked continue. There it goes. I heard the beep. I didn't get two of them, did I? Uh, that was weird. Okay. To store. Okay. To so say to storage, you go. Because I had to click on that twice. And to storage, you go. So we have the monies. Um, we have what four mechs in storage? Four complete mechs in storage? Yeah. So we've got a fire starter nine each. We've got a javelin ten F. Of a Spider 5V and a Locust 1S, all in storage. Uh, we have two parts of a Panther 9R, two parts of a Locust 1M. So this all right here for me is money. And, and we have one part of a Blackjack. So, I mean, this I like to finish the mechs and then sell them. That That is my money. Um, on the Rogue Tech side, your mechs come damaged, but they come populated with stuff. So... I uh, I definitely I, I like to finish the mech so you can get stuff out of them to put in there. Um, default on this is they come empty. I'm all right with that. I, I can deal with that. We'll just sell it in money. If we need stuff, we'll buy it off the store or salvage it off the battlefield. All right. So river's out of action for 23 days. I believe that our mechs are. I'm already in the mech bay. Retard. I believe that our mechs are good to go, so let's check out the command center. What do we have for contracts here? Uh, insurrection, interception, assassination. I like it. Skull and a half assassination mission. Hmm. All right, so we're going to do this assassination mission because this is exactly what I was asking for. I was asking for battles and assassinations. Uh, there's an ambush convoy. No, thank you. There's a battle half skull. I think we're beyond that at this point. Uh, destroy base. There's a, a one skull battle. That one. Oh, this is the new. Uh, this is the new battle type. Um, I'll go ahead and read this. So, as Commander, we've been tracking a Torian lance moving through a contested area on the planet's surface. A few hours ago, our scouts reported another lance of unknown allegiance on an intercept course. We suspect a fight is brewing, and we'd like you to act as a spoiler. Eliminate the Torian lance and the unknown ambushers as well. We don't want to leave any witnesses. So, this is where... Um, you can have multiple groups of attackers all attacking each other. So the, in this particular case, the Torian Lance will shoot at you and the Unknown Lance. And the Unknown Lance will shoot at you and the Torians. And of course you will shoot at everybody because that's what we do. That's what we get paid to do. Um, this is interesting. I may jump on this if, uh. We have enough time. And actually, we do not. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode now. And then next, next episode, we will jump right into our assassination mission. And uh, probably follow that up almost immediately with spoiler. So with that being said, we will see you next episode. Music